it portrays the essence of the spirit and the pride that has developed in the student body and faculty since this school opened in 1954. A secondary school is made up of many departments and David Douglas is one in which the curriculum is provided for the needs and interests and abilities of all students. This is really the true mark of a comprehensive school. We've grown here since the school was opened. Until now, the uh, two buildings are housing the students, the seniors and juniors, in one high school building under the direction of Mr. Robert Daggett, and the freshmen and sophomores in the junior building under Mr. Charles Hosford. It is our great hope that the high interest of the community, the parents, the school board, the administration, faculty, and students will always be maintained and the cooperation run in such a manner that we continu can continue to provide the finest in educational opportunity for all of the youth of this community. especially pleased to have this opportunity to show you our school. For the parents, we hope to show a typical day in the life of your high school student. For the incoming freshmen, we want to convey the many opportunities that you'll have during your four short years here. And to the adults of the community, we want to show the important part which our high school plays in each of our lives. To do this, we'll see not only classes in session, but also discover the important part which extracurricular activities play in the development of each individual student. First, let's visit the most important element of any high school, what it has to offer in its classrooms. For it is academics that is the core of our school. The high school student in today's rapidly changing 20th century is finding an ever-increasing need for an understanding of the world of science and mathematics. Insights into scientific theory and phenomena are obtained by students in physical science, biology, chemistry, and physics. Courses in mathematics range from consumer economics to trigonometry. These provide a wide basis of knowledge for tomorrow's housewife, as well as the potential scientist. Laboratory experience is a valuable part of many science courses. Under the watchful eye of the chemistry student, observation and experimentation turn the dry printed page into a chemical change in a test tube or a tiny living cell under a microscope. In addition to the courses usually found in a high school, 
David Douglas has offered a seminar for the serious-minded students interested in independent research in the field of science. At Douglas, the school libraries are frequently used by many students. These libraries, one in the junior building and one in our senior building, provide a quiet study center for those needing supplementary material on almost any subject. As well as providing ready reference material, a complete selection of the most timely books, magazines, and newspapers is made available. Many Douglas students taking foreign languages make use of our unique language laboratory. This classroom is composed of 25 individual booths, each supplied with earphones and a microphone. A record or tape is played while the students listen to the pronunciation and then repeat it into the microphone. The instructor can tune into any student and make comments directly to him without disrupting any of the other class members. In the study of languages, the importance of good pronunciation is increasing. For this reason, the language lab assumes a vital, active part in our foreign language program. Social studies covers a wide scope here at Douglas. Freshmen are introduced to the climatic realms and various cultures of the world during their course in world geography. The sophomore and junior years include world and U.S. history. These combine to give students an understanding of the roots of development of the many cultures of the world, as well as a true faith in our democratic way of life. In the senior year, a course concerned with the most pressing national and international problems is enjoyed by all. The emphasis in this modern problems class is in a free exchange of many different ideas among the students. Social studies, as well as its counterpart, English, gives students the chance to think for themselves. A modern day philosopher once said, strong mind, strong body, take your pick. But this is certainly not the philosophy at David Douglas, where complete physical education facilities are provided. The entire curriculum includes units in personal health as well as individual and team athletics. Health classes are incorporated within the PE program to instruct students in good habits of healthful living. This is done through the study of health based on investigation of medical facts and anatomy. Emphasis is placed on the individual's physical and emotional growth and his responsibility to community health. On the other hand, physical education activity offers the opportunity to develop leadership and followership. After a brief period of calisthenics, the classes are conducted to give a sense of achievement and enjoyment through participation in a variety of activities. A visitor to any PE class might encounter a study of tumbling techniques or a game of volleyball, a swimming lesson getting underway, or a track record being broken. Above all, the activities are designed to meet the needs and interests of every student. For those students who wish to continue to participate in athletics beyond their usual PE classes, competitive sports are offered on the intramural and interscholastic levels. Douglas fields teams not only in the major spectator sports, such as football, basketball, and baseball, but also offers competition in golf, wrestling, track, swimming, tennis, gymnastics, and marksmanship. While sports events are usually regarded only as an exciting activity for spectators, their value as an opportunity for achievement to the students involved should not be overlooked. Pep assemblies, ringing the victory bell, uncorking the spirit jug, and singing the alma mater help impress good sportsmanship and high ideals upon all those participating. Extracurricular activities at Douglas don't end with athletics. Several major social events are held throughout the year in Scott Territory. Homecoming in the fall and May Fate in the spring are two of these major events to which all students can look forward. 
Homecoming festivities are presenting in honor of the returning alumni and revolve around the last home football game of the season. The entire student body participates in class competition, float building, spirit week, and the election of the queen and her court. In keeping with another tradition, the Girls League sponsors the winter formal, which is always the climax of the Christmas activities. Preceding the impressive beauty of this event, the decorating crew works late, the boys shine their cars, and the girls go on a shopping spree in anticipation of the big night. Other social events, including, of course, the Junior Senior Prom and the Sadie Hawkins, add interest and variety to the school year. At David Douglas, students with similar interests are given the opportunity to form organizations to increase their participation and enjoyment. Such organizations have been encouraged at David Douglas. Students having interests in photography, chess, skiing, electronics, politics, the teaching profession, or almost any other area can find a club at David Douglas in which they can increase their interest with fellow students. This is one of the advantages which a large metropolitan high school affords. Secondly, we in the United States are confronted with a dilemma. And that dilemma is that we must create 35,000 jobs each week in order to offset the effects of automation. Added to this, we must create 50,000 jobs each week in order to compensate for the new workers entering our working force. In other words, we must create 85,000 jobs each week, or slightly over 4 million, in order to just keep pace with our relative high amount of unemployment. At the other end of the activity spectrum, one may find our rally squad, social service clubs, or the David Douglas Highland Dancers. <laughs> found a new and important role in the 20th century as doctors, lawyers, police officers, and even astronauts. Yet the truly modern girl still needs to know the basics of how to be a good wife and mother. In pioneer days, if the food she fixed could be at least swallowed and her family kept under one roof for a while, all was considered well. But this, of course, is no more. In this age of technology and convenience, the woman's role in the household grows ever greater. The demands placed upon her by her family and the community mount with each passing day. It is home economics class which helps the girl of today become the vibrant woman of tomorrow. In the future also, home economics will be an important part of the David Douglas curriculum. For with the changes science has made in textiles, improved equipment, use of convenience foods, and changes in family life, there will continue to be an increasing need for home economics courses. Complete shop facilities are provided for David Douglas boys. This is especially important as vocational training for those students not going to college. Besides providing valuable experience for these students, it also gives the basic knowledge necessary for tomorrow's man about the house. In keeping with these dual objectives, courses are offered at varied levels of work with both wood and metal. The first courses include an understanding of the many different tools and machines. Students are shown how to make practical use of the extensive equipment offered and then taught to use what they've learned at school in their own homes. 
In the more advanced stages of wood, metal, and electronics, students are allowed to make individual projects of their own choosing. These may range from crossbows to coffee tables in wood shop and wrought iron chairs and bookcases in metal. Included in some of these courses are lessons in building trades. These are designed for the students who have given serious thought to making carpentry or cabinet making their vocation. Such subjects as house framing, rafter cutting, and form building are important elements in the study of industrial arts. Unusual courses such as these are always available to meet student demand in subjects not usually found in other high schools. Einstein once said, imagination is more important than knowledge. While knowledge is limited, imagination embraces the whole world. One of the aims of the David Douglas Art Department is to develop our understanding and appreciation of the world of art. Students are introduced to the works of the masters as well as given ample chance to use their own imagination to create individual works. Cultivating the student's imagination is one of the basic objectives of art, for imagination is one of the most valuable resources we have and no area of study more greatly benefits this desperately needed asset than does art. An outgrowth of the art department is our advertising staff, which handles the publicity for school activities. Athletics and social events are announced to the student body through the clever work of these artists. During ceramics class, a handful of raw clay can slowly take the shape of a sturdy bowl or a delicate vase. Throwing the clay on the potter's wheel and centering it takes real skill. Other class instruction includes the firing and glazing of the student's own work, as well as demonstrations in design and decoration. To make a great high school, it takes students, faculty and administrators working together. At David Douglas, students have learned that the doors to the office of the administration are always open. As long as the lines of communication are open between the student body and the men and women responsible for running the school, misunderstandings can be avoided. It is the cooperation that has made possible our unique self-discipline system in which David Douglas students are given a minimum of restrictive supervision. The challenge to adult action has been met by our students and in turn the program has encountered unlimited success. Every student at one time or other is posed with problems which he alone cannot solve. It is at this time that we are especially thankful for the opportunity to meet with our counselors. For counseling is the door that opens other doors to students through guidance in personal, social, vocational, and educational plans. The result is an adjusted individual who will be able to live a varied, meaningful life within the community. In these classrooms are trained the minds of the future and through these halls pass tomorrow's leaders.